running wild man here. So 2020, holy. So for some people, uh, this year is not starting out great. And um, I was going to start this saying that my life has been a little bit of a roller coaster, but you know what? It really has it compared to maybe some other people. Uh, my family is doing fairly well right now, and um, we are fortunate enough to. Uh, I, I still have my job, and my wife is able to go on EI, and, and we're fortunate to have a little bit of money saved and carry on. Some other families can't say the same, but let me just tell you about 2020 for Wildman. So it started, my wife's been trying to look for um, some other work. She's not completely happy with her current work, so that's stressing her out a bit, and that obviously adds some stress at home, but. Um, you know, then my uh, uh, a number of weeks back, my dad had a, um, a massive heart attack, and he was into the hospital. Uh, he was in. Uh, my mom and I were there in the hospital when this stuff happened, and um, you know that's traumatizing. Uh, seeing my dad go through that, hearing them call the code blue, and um, you know I, I kind of wish I wasn't there because I'm going to be remembering that for the rest of my life. But you know, I was there to support my mom and. You know, that was a hard time. It took an hour and a half for them to resuscitate him. Anywho, once he came out, uh, they put him in a coma and they paralyzed him and that's where he lied for 20 days. Uh, that was pretty tough. That was um, at the end of February, beginning of March, I believe. Uh, and there he lie again for 20 days. And uh, But you know what? He's made a miraculous recovery. And uh, man, I can't believe it. One week I didn't know if I would talk to him again and the next week he's sitting up in his bed. So... That's nuts. And then the other day, I was actually at his place helping him fix the tractor. He was sitting on his wheelchair out in the driveway, and I was doing all the work while he was telling me. You know, this is a guy not two weeks ago that I didn't think I'd speak to him, and now I'm fixing a tractor with him. So, um, wow. Uh, I'm so glad to have him back. And then uh, and then this whole COVID-19 thing. Um, it's nuts. W what's the future going to be like? I'm worried about other families that uh, are not working through this, and... Um, and just, the, I don't know, I'm kind of worried about the future and how we're going to pay back all this money that's been handed out. But you know what, let's deal with that at that time. Uh, Wild Man works for the hospital and I work in IT, so I'm fortunate enough to be able to work from home. My wife had to go on EEI because her company closed. Um, but you know, we'll survive. We have some money saved. I, I'm out riding this thing. I mean, if it's so bad, I sell this. But I think we'll do okay. So in saying that, you know, my life is still pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Some of my YouTube followers, hey, just let you know, I, I try to watch as much of your content as I can. And um, I'm looking forward to what the rest of this year brings us, however it may be. I know a lot of our group rides, like the Beagle Bash is canceled. Um, it looks like the Midhurst Trail Ride is probably gonna be canceled. That's only in what, just over a month away. Um, and then I'm hoping that Rockhound is good to go, but you never know. I, I don't know what's going to happen in the next couple months. So, to all my friends, hang in there. I'm doing all right. We're doing all right. So, talk to you again. Wow, man.